What up, family? Get on this point and dash in the mirror. The least day is sex society in my city of Chicago, December 10th, 2022. At least that's what they say. Look, family, real talk. This is going out to my real gays and lesbians out there, transgenders, whoever, you know, have been in a relationship, especially with a, a, a heterosexual individual or whatever, you know, it, it was your first turnout or whatever the case may be, and they felt hard for you or whatever and stuff, but they was in denial and things of that nature, and they didn't know how to process their feelings and stuff, and so they act as if, you know, they never were. And, you know, I have, let's talk about some real stuff, okay? Now, everybody know, you know my story by now. I'm your ghetto news reporter, Mary Dance, when Mary Lee, your ghetto news reporter, since all about... Since I posted my first ever YouTube video, Mary Mac versus the Fat Black Oprah Winfrey, November of 2007. But, you know, I was in the Chicago Sun-Times newspaper at the age of six, 1973. I didn't know the difference between an apple and an orange at the age of six. But at the age of eight, I was filling up rap pages, rhymes and things of that nature after listening to um, songs on the radio or record player and changing the words and kind of like becoming a... Originator of rap at the age of eight in 1975. That's the true story. Long story short, I don't even have a, you know, high school diploma. Never went to high school. Got my GED. Never finished um, grammar school. But, you know, sometimes I write like a genius. Real talk. Now, with that said, let's get back to the relationships. You understand? Know I didn't want to be a lesbian growing up but because I was violated by five guys and, you know, God wanted me to talk about this, I guess, in the future, you understand? Like right now, you know, I, you know, gravitated towards ladies, this, that, and the third or whatever and stuff, girls when I was younger and things of that nature, trying to figure out who and what I am supposed to be in this world. You know, it's a big world out there and stuff, especially when you're all alone or whatever and stuff. And people take advantage of you and, you know, you got predators out here and you got people that's addicted to sex and there's people that want to be with you. For the moment or whatever, but they'll play the game just to get the bag or, you know, get their fame and name up or whatever the case may be. Now, you know, I gave my true story, child abuse rap to Oprah at the age of 17 in 1984. And I gave her my uh, voice to three cassette tapes running back and some pictures and this, down the third in 1995. And, you know, I posted my first ever YouTube video after giving her my book, Rhymes, Poems and Metaphors Plus One Song. You know, November of 2007. Now, I've been trying to not pursue Oprah in a sexual manner, but try to reach her to let her know that, you know, it was destined for us to meet one way or the other and stuff and represent for the gay people who are, you know, struggling, whatever case may be, or want to come out the closet and stuff. My favorite number is 10 because, you know, we the people, for the people, our people too. Now, I don't drink, drug, smoke, or fornicate, you know. I have 25 years of sobriety this month on Christmas. My sobriety is 1997 Christmas. Okay, and I take that seriously. But some people, you know, they like to compete because girls, you know, they are very competitive people. And some of them are jealous. Even they might like you in a relationship. And I was watching a video with Jessica Betts, whom I met and took a picture. You know what I'm saying? Around the time she was you know, uh, on the Missy Elliott show, Road to Stardom or whatever and stuff. She had a big afro at the time. This is a real story. And um, I met, you know, Jessica Betts at a party, and I noticed that her and Oprah had also met. So, you know, birds of a feather flock together, right? I'm here, there, everywhere, and even your place, even if I'm not there personally, Miss Winfrey, I'm there in spirit. Now, I believe Oprah fell for me after hearing me in 1995. You understand what I'm saying? But at the same time, she's a very competitive person, and she don't want to um, admit the fact that, you know, I'm an attracted young lady that she probably could have, you know, you know, you know, got to know. I'm just keeping it real and trying to be as, as professional as possible, you know, because I'm a comedian also. I had all kind of thoughts within that moment. I paused and stuff, but I ain't going to speak on it. You understand what I'm saying? So because she couldn't have me, she got, you know, younger me, you know, trying to make me jealous, I guess, and stuff. And she got 
you know, Jessica Betts, you know, to fill in or whatever and stuff, you know, trying to go after the bag and stay relevant. Okay, I understand you got to get your money and stuff, but how much money do you need to uh, be in love with? You understand what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, is your money really doing the most for you? Like, you know, I could have, you know, as a real person and stuff. I'm just saying, you know, let's just keep it real and stuff. You know what I'm saying? It said a fool and his money will soon part. I'm sorry. Did I disrespect you? I tried not to, but that's what they say. Long story short, you know, I was watching an interview, you know, the transgender was uh, asking Niecy Nash, you know, you know, about Jessica Betts, you know, and their relationship, you know, that's supposed to be her wife, right? You understand what I'm saying? Jessica Betts and Niecy Nash and stuff. And she was giving, you know, uh, Jessica Betts a lot of, you know, real good talk or whatever and stuff. Now, Jessica Betts, she's a, you know, singer or whatever. She's trying to, you know, make a name for herself. She's aggressive, handsome, like, like myself. You understand what I'm saying? But a girl, you know, you understand what I'm saying? We represent, we hit in everywhere, a little bit of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and the rest come from people like you. Okay, don't discriminate. I ain't player hating or nothing like that. I say, go for it. You represent, you doing what I couldn't do, and God filled in the blanks or whatever and stuff to keep, you know, my story relevant, whatever the case may be, right? So, did when she when when Niecy Nash said, you know, all them good things, and then she called Jessica Betts a thing, that shit hit me to my core. I said, man, why would you call her a thing if she make you feel as good as you just said to the transgender, you know, interviewer, whatever and stuff? See, this competition, even in a relationship. See, I would have, I would have, that would have been it. It would have been over. I'm filing for a divorce. You have publicly humiliated me. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. See, I believe Niecy Nash only got, and I'm just keeping it real. You can sue me, but you ain't getting shit up out of me. It's the for real, real fucking time. I ain't got it. You know, Oprah robbed me. Real talk. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Tell you the truth. You understand what I'm saying? But long story short, this is why I'm your ghetto news report. Long story short, you know, I would have called it quits right there. You understand what I'm saying? You, you, you just defamed me. In front of everybody on E News, real talk, you know, and I just, you know, I, and I think the uh, transgender felt it, and she took up for uh, Jessica, uh, and told Niecy Nash, I think you, you know, getting turned out. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> See, when people get turned out, they don't know how to process their feelings because it's like, ooh, I'm not supposed to have these feelings for a girl. You understand what I'm saying? Or a guy, whoever the case may be. I was in Uptown in my city of Chicago. Not Uptown, but Boys Town. And it's, you know, a gay area and stuff. And I was walking by and I seen this two white, you know, guys, you know, a couple and stuff. They was all happy and gay and stuff, you know, because we talk about gay versus fake gay people. You understand what I'm saying? If you ain't figured it out by now. And I said, ooh, y'all so cute. Give him a kiss. He ain't kiss him. You understand what I'm saying? He ain't even kiss him on the cheek. But if it was me and I was that happy gay, you know, arm in arm, you know what I'm saying? See, they, they try to circle me because they know I'm the ghetto news reporter, you know, and they want to get on and stuff, but they ain't showing no public affection. When I was with my ex-girlfriend, Luana Joy Jacobson, whom I believe I turned out for real, for real, but we kind of turned each other out. <laughs> I'm just joking. Long story short, though, you know, when we couldn't fake it no more, we was going for it. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. Public affection. You know, Brittany Griner just got out of um, prison in Russia because I believe they put her in for public affection. You understand what I'm saying? Showing her white public affection. You know, we got to stop hiding our feelings, basically, is what I'm trying to say. So, you know what I do? I break these balls right here, flip the Bible, let people know. You know, if you love somebody, you got to love them in the forever. You understand what I'm saying? Not just for the moment or for the bag or for the you know, publicity and stuff. You know what I'm saying? See, you can't play with my feelings. And then when I seen all that coming, that's why I backed out like, mm-mm. You know, because everybody want to be around a winner. But when it's uh, raining outside, oh, you know, I don't want to get my hair wet. No, you're going to get your hair wet, your clothes wet. You understand what I'm saying? If you love a person, what happened to walking in the park? See, now you got to have racks this that and the third you understand what i'm saying what happened to serenading the person and stuff keeping it real you understand you know why, why i gotta have big bucks no whammies and stuff just to get your man you know what i mean so let me break these balls slip this bible and then y'all decide when i put the uh description of the interview in this uh video a gift is from god and surprise to kill you real so you know what i mean
Now, I am number one. Bam, that's the number one. This is the five. And this is the 12. Now, that's 17. That's 18. The color purple came out in 1985. I was 18 years old. And it's based loosely around my life and stuff. And Oprah knows that because I gave her my story at the age of 17 and 1984. Okay, so stop trolling. You know, give me some of that profit money. Can I get some of that money? For real, because I'm in a trap building right now with a bunch of guys that are trying to turn me out. And I, I don't go that way. If anything, I'll turn them out and it'll be him. I mean, you see where this is going? Do I look like the type of person? That's why me and my ex-girlfriend, LaJuana Joy Jacobs, broke up. Because she wanted to... Use the strap on me. I said, girl, you done lost your mind. This this relationship is over. You understand what I'm saying? I know who I am, for real. And I know what I'm capable of doing. And because, you know, I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings and stuff, you know, or break any hearts. I just left all that alone and stuff until I, I could work on myself. And maybe Jessica need to take another look at her marriage. I ain't want to break up a happy home, but it didn't sound too happy to me. Calling a person a thing that loves you the most. Quit playing. Step your game up. Oh, hold on. Got to get this scripture. I am number one. Ezekiel chapter one. Okay? Real so. Don't shit on me and say it's raining. This says, I am free. <laughs> That's what I wrote. And then I put, uh, what I put? March 23rd. Yeah, wait a minute. Hold on. Because, you know, I can't see too well. They robbing me blind. Um, anyway, you got Ezekiel chapter one. And, you know, I'm just number one, motherfucker shit. In my book, your book, and everybody's book, all right? Don't let them shit on you. Peace.